For more on the latest market moves, we want to welcome in Jeremy Schwartz, Wisdom Tree Global Chief Investment Officer. Jeremy, I was just talking about this a little bit, but we've had a lot of headlines this week when you think about conflict in the Middle East, our hurricane. Um, crush the southeast of America, and then you think about the port strike. I'm curious what you make of all these rising risks, and we haven't seen a big drawdown in the indexes. How do you sort of reason with how the market's been reacting to all of these news headlines this week? Well, well, so much has been focused on really the monetary policy, the Fed, why we're focused on the jobs report tomorrow. It's like, what is the Fed going to continue doing? And they helped provide this extra stimulus for the markets in a way, going 50 basis points, cutting. We were hoping they were going to make a big cut. We, you know, we think they should be at neutral, which is a 3.5%, much quicker than they typically tend to do, which is a very slow and deliberate pace. Um, but so you've got this extra booster shot there, and earnings have been coming in good. Like, why is the S&P so strong and the small caps so weak? Well, small caps have had very disappointing earnings, and the mega cap tech could keep powering higher. So the environment has been good for that underlying fundamentals of the market, and you've got the Fed now contributing to a little bit easier conditions. So when you think about the small caps trade and a little bit of the rotation narrative that we've been focusing on here, it sounds like owning the broader index might be the better approach versus individual company names because it's just hard to suss out which ones are going to have healthy balance sheets moving forward. We've been waiting for that all year. And you say, is now this 50 basis point change in the Fed the key impetus? You know, and we're, we're hopeful it is. We thought you would need them to start cutting rates. They're like the only people paying the higher rates from the Fed. You think about your own mortgage. Everybody locked in low mortgages. Large cap companies extended their bond maturities, small caps can't issue debt the same way. They're borrowing at these floating rate instruments. So they're paying the higher interest rates. So hopefully these lowering of rates helps ease their interest burden. But you also do need to see the earnings pick up. Now, the economy's been strong. It tends to be, or it's been holding in pretty resiliently. That had, tends to be good for small cap earnings. But last quarter was not great. So you got to see it as we get to next quarter earnings, have that momentum turn around. How much does the economic story matter there? Because there is still some ongoing debate about whether the Fed cut 50 basis points to get back on sides while the economy is doing well, as Jay Powell has sort of insinuated that they did, or are they seeing some signs in the labor market that concern them and the economy might actually be swelling? How much does that part of the economic narrative matter when it comes to small caps? We definitely don't think it's that Powell sees something. We don't think <laughs> sure. that they have yeah. any insight specialty on where the economy is yeah. going. Um, they're just recalibrating, as they said. They're realizing there are 250 basis points restrictive to their view. Unemployment's basically at their long-term target. Inflation is trending their direction. Now you have all these sort of short-term stuff. The, the port strike, mm -hmm. it, the, the, the Middle East war. I mean, all that stuff is maybe that's the transitory you know we talked about transitory in 2021 for inflation we think they will look through some of this short-term noise that inflation's coming down and that they can keep cutting but it's not that they see some underlying weaknesses that hey they realize they're 250 basis points restrictive from a neutral policy stance from what they say is their neutral policy stance. they shouldn't be that restrictive so when you think about the NFPs we're going to be getting in here tomorrow with that jobs report, do you think that good news is going to be enough for the market? Or do you think that the market is obsessed with 50 cuts now? And so unless we get evidence of that, there's yeah. going to be more pressure to the downside. Well, they're sort of pricing in one cut every meeting through the summer. You know, so that would get them to that 3.5% by next summer. We would like them to go faster. So, but I, I, in reality, the good news is good news for the stocks. You want a good economy and strong earnings. Now, if they if, if rates start shooting way higher, you could say that's going to like long term interest rates start shooting higher. People could start saying that's going to pressure the market because again they want more cuts, like mm -hmm. you're saying. But good news is good news for these companies. That when you're at 12 times earnings, 13 times earnings, like all these small cap indexes, you want a strong economy because they're priced for like a slowdown in a recession, but they're cheap. So you need a good economy for those. So we would take a good economy as good news.